so hey guys welcome back in Gurumangla YT and in, from this video we are going to learn this all the blueprint code for unreal engine so yeah we are going to learn this all the blueprint codes for our game okay one by one we will be learn all this blueprint code uh, we will be i will be make this up uh, like a playlist so you see you can check the playlist link in the description link below okay so you you can buy this thing you can understand all the blueprint how you can use this uh at which case we need to use this blueprint code and yeah what will be uh you know we are basically going to learn the blueprint codes because lots of you uh, comment me that bro we learn we already learn unreal engine with your videos i know unreal engine now i need to learn only blueprint codes so just learn us okay so these all the blueprint codes for the beginners and this is the basics also it's this all the codes used for to make a third person or any kind of like first person game and other type of game okay you can use this all the codes okay there's all the block codes are very important you, with this block code you can make lots of game okay you can understand the programming of the visual scripting okay so now if you have a question that bro i am bengali so please make video about in this all the codes in bangla so i already make a playlist about in manual engine bangladesh channel so you can check this playlist that unreal engine blueprint code so there i show all the parts as you can see there only one two three four five there's only five parts of video by that watching five parts you can understand this all the blueprint codes uh, in bangla language okay now let's start so first of all how we can write the blueprint code so in unreal engine there's a two way to write the blueprint code okay so correctly i'm using now unreal engine 5 but I'll, if there's any changes for unreal engine 4 i also show you so don't worry about that bro i'm using unreal engine 4 are the codes are different or not so i'll be show you everything so don't worry about that okay just hear my or listen my voice uh, try to uh, listen my voice or yeah what i'm talking try to just understand quickly just or try to increase the volume if you are hearing my um you know the volume is low okay now first learn that wire we can write these blue uh, codes and at which time we need to write wire in unreal engine there's a two way to write the code first is open level class so in unreal engine 5 that is super easy you need to just click on blueprint and here at here that open level uh, blueprint so at here you can write the blueprint code at the second that is uh, basically the if you have a character bp inside of your character bp, BP double click and once you go to even graph you can write their codes also there's a no very difference okay so there's a two way to write basically the codes in unreal engine so now the question is bro now how, how i know that why i need to write this code so like just think that i'm creating this game now how i know that i need to write the codes in my open level class or in my player class okay so just think that you only want to write scores for your player that only affected affected that only class like just think i write here the codes that some control codes that is give, give by default unreal engine there's a, some movement codes okay so are we need this movement code in our whole world okay no we don't need our uh, this movement uh, codes in our whole world we only need to control this code for only our controlling this our character okay so yeah if you think that your code you whatever code you want to write that is only affected your player cla um, class so you only need to write that code in your uh, player bp or you can write your all the clothes in your group in open level by class reference okay now let's start with open level by class reference so once you open any of blueprint code you must find like this that one is the begin play okay like this one because i already have let me just get this thing okay so one is the uh even uh even begin play and one is the event tick now what is the even begin play and what is the event tick basically the even begin play is a you know you can tell a start a key okay like a car just start your key is this begin play okay for uh, starting any of code you must need to use a action that is basically your uh, the begin play or your even tick now what is the basically difference of begin play and tick is basically if i show you with a print string so the print string is a basically a console command or kind of like it will give you a console output like if you write in c++ so also you find like this that a hello world this is a, what the programmer 
uh, always learn you fast when you are going to learn that code or c++ so they always uh, learn you that how you can print a hello world by with c++ or something like that okay now just think that i'm connected with this thing with print string so what will we do it will be only print the hello world in my this on my left side that only one time if i click now play uh, as you can see it's pasting the hello world okay nice now if i want that it will be do loop type it will be uh, continuously doing the same thing it will always give me the update so i can now contact with my event tick with this thing so now abby after zero uh, one milliseconds it will be giving me the same thing okay like as you can see there's a now loop type working so now by this thing you understand that if you use the begin play it will be only work one time and if you use the event tick it will be continuously doing the same thing also you can get the uh, delta seconds so you can understand that how much faster or uh, you know what is the basically the event tick speed by this thing getting the delta seconds okay we also already as you can see we already learned three uh, codes so also in the print string there's a code available if you click on this advanced option you find that are you want to print this uh, message in your screen or you want to print this kind of like a log and also if you want to if you can change the color okay like if you want to you can change the color and uh, also you can change the duration if you want so like if i change already as you can see the colors has been changed so you can get different types of color for your different types of output if it's if you want okay so as you can see we already learned three codes very nice so for getting a note will be do like this okay let's get this all the codes right right side because we already at here okay the second code is will be learned that is basically very simple that is sequence do and uh, okay so what is basically the sequence so if you search that cq as eq so you find the sequence block the second is do once okay okay now first learn what is the basically the sequence the basically sequence uh let me first of all get this thing because we must need that for executing our code okay so basically the sequence mean that by getting uh just think that you have to uh, print a string okay now at here what you need to do you want to get this whole uh, you want to run this two uh you know the tags in the same time how you can do you can do like this but Thing that some cases there's a this print is not available this executed pin is not available so how you can uh, print you know uh, two uh, message in the same time so for do that you can use the sequence basically the sequence like a hand that you are only he will be get only with one inputs but he'll be get multiple outputs kind of like if you click on the add pin you can do some more work like i want to now paste this hello world and i also want that i pay i want to paste that hello too okay and let's change the color to something like green okay now if i connect it with the sequence once and the sequence two and then that is even begin play i'm connected with this thing now compile and save make sure that before running any code you must need to compile and save okay now if i click on play as you can see it will be giving me the two outputs at the same time okay without any problem okay so as you can see that is very easy to use the sequence also by sequence block you can use for multiple cases kind of like you, you want to get uh you want to verify something uh to uh you know two objects so you can use the basically the sequence block also okay nice now what's what's we can do with do ones block basically the do ones block kind of like it will be do one time okay what kind of a one time just think that you are using the event tick and now okay that event tick and now you want to verify a variable with a event tick that you are only want to see this hello world only one time so you can use the do once block okay now if i click on complete connected with complete and i get a uh, this from so as you can see this one will be always updated but this one is only paste one time because we have the do ones so if i click on now compile and save now if i click on play as you can see the green one only the red one come one time and the green one's coming all time okay so now think that you want to reset this thing how how can do so by resetting this thing you can do like you can get a uh, from like this ones okay like you can add pin in like this or even you can get a k keyboard the k keyboard is like k keyboard like k keyboard so that is the k keyboard now press so it will be reset my this uh, option so it will be do you can it can do one more time also you can have a on, one more option that 
start with close this thing man that when you, it will be start first time it will be have close it's mean that the gate will be not work so it's been that we didn't get any message so if i just untick this thing it's mean the boolean is false so then it will be do first time okay and second time it become close so for resetting this thing by reset we can do this thing or you can you know it's kind of like a gate or a key okay like a, your locker key kind of like that okay nice so also as you can see we learn one more code that the k keyboard the k keyboard basically getting a data from like you want to sometime you need the inputs for like you want to movement your character so you also need your keyboard information that i am pressing now the w keyboard s keyboard r keyboard k keyboard or not so for verifying that thing what you need to do basically search uh, which key you want to verify like i want to verify the key keyboard as you can see just i need that thing that's why so now let's search that key then we search that keyboard and here as you can see we found the all the key a b c d e f g h and all the buttons what we have we found all the at here that the key keyboard and at the key keyboard unreal engine give us the three option that one is press and one is release now what is the press basically when we press the key keyboard it will be give a action okay so by that action we can basically do some work or also when we release this thing like we are not holding that k keyboard and we are releasing that thing we also get a one more uh, basically action okay so by this thing basically we can do multiple work okay now as you can see we already learned lots of thing i think the 11 minutes is so much uh in next uh, video we'll be learn something more so i just hope you like this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel code bangla it and don't forget to also check the playlist okay yeah bye bye see you in next video so hey guys welcome back in korean bangla it and another part of our unreal engine blueprint code learning so this is the part number three if you didn't check our previous part so please check or you can check our playlist okay so in this video we'll learn what is a uh, fine look at look uh, rotation get random uh, reachable points get actor location get actor uh, rotation spawn actor from class uh, set actor rotation set actor uh, location and also set actor location and rotation and self so we'll be learn so first of all let's learn what is basically uh, the self okay yeah what is self the self is mean that which player or which character you are using if you want you can get his all data by this one block that is self but make sure for using the self you must need to inside of that character class it's mean that just thing you want to use the, your third person player and inside of your third person player okay you want to basically go inside of his class like inside of his third person you can search the self so you can get his self reference because some of cases we must need his uh third person data that's why okay because we learned ourselves so it's mean that the self is also work like basically the reference of the whole class okay so it's mean that if you have any boolean in our third person so we can basically call that boolean okay so but make sure for uh, casting this thing you must need to uh, instead of that third person player okay however now let's talk about what is basically the get actor location and get actor rotation basically it's mean if you want to get what is basically your uh, actor location in your world so as you can see we can see in our details panel that the location and the rotation but in unreal engine if you want to search in blueprint code by if you want to verify that location or rotation because some of cases we must need that that's why so at that case if you want your actual location and rotation so how we get by these two blocks that is get actor lo location and rotation okay so you can connect it with self and with self so it's mean that if it's connected with yourself but make sure it's near a target the target is basically which player like there's a lots of actors in your world so which actors of location you want in it right now so i want my this character reference and in my just my character location so for that i'll be search here that first of all the self and so once i get the self reference what i do i simply uh, connect it with my get actor location now it will be give me the location of my actor okay so we can verify with our begin play let's call this with a print string so we can test that in live that what is the basically right location or rotation or not so but make sure that every location or rotation convert to a vector the vector call basically instead of the vector there's a three uh 
float variable available so if you click on split so you can see there's some three uh, float values uh, we can use was one is x one is y and one is z if you uh, just see your details panel you find the simulation like the similar that your location x that is your x the your location y that is your this y the uh, location z that is your z okay so now let's try to get our location x value okay let's see that what is basically our value uh, like where is basically we are so as you can see now details that is minus 700 uh, 760 so let's click on play so as you can see uh, it's saying that zero but why so let me sh uh, show you because uh, in our world we are in a zero positions okay so let's try to use with print string because as i said that for getting uh, this uh, working you must need to uh, inside of your basically in your third person so let's give go with our third person use the event tick and with the event tick at here we'll be get our self uh, location now we can basically check that what is basically our location so now let's click on play so as you can see our basically location as you can see the minus 760 the float is 140 and other details whatever in our details panels we found as i said that for executing any of self-reference you must need to instead of that class okay so as you can see after when we when we go instead of that class it's now we can see the value okay so we learned that what is basically this location okay the rotation is also the same but uh, at here you can see the pitch roll and yeah the roll is mean basically your like this one this one okay and basically the pitch is your basically this one to left to right and your basically the yeah is it is your up and down okay like up and down okay if i show you with the actor like this up and down okay so you can also get like the same thing okay we already learned that what is basically this stuff so we can also couple a uh, couple <laughs> okay we can unpin this thing simple way okay okay we already learned this thing so let's uh, make them sides so it will be help us to learn other scores okay so let me okay so now let's le learn about what is basically the spawn actor from class the spawn actor from class is basically if you want to just think that you want to add a actor kind of like just this cube in your world so we'll add from detail so how you can do if we are inside of game like we want to spawn a bullet or we want to spawn kind of like anything so how we can use this block called spawn actor so at here we can set the class that which cl class of we want to uh, you know basically want to spawn so just saying i want to spawn a cube okay so let me cl uh, create a blueprint class and an actor and let's say give it name cube mine okay so it will be help me to basically find that cube basically so now let's add basically the a cube inside of our game in, uh, in sorry inside of our actor as you can see we added now let's come in our basically at here now let's search our this thing that cub cube my uh, sorry and as you can see the cube my and as you can see it's come now as i said that for spawning anything we need a location okay that why we want to spawn him like what is his should be location what is his basically the rotation and the stuff okay so as you can see they give you this uh, spawn transformation that is basically the all data so if you click on split so you find that they give you the location rotation and scale okay this scale is basically the size that how much you want you can set the rotation and location for now we want to spawn this thing we can set any of location so just think that we want to spawn him at this position okay so let's copy this data so there's also a one more way you can if you want the whole of data so if you want don't want to copy them separate separately you can click on a location then right mouse then copy the data and you can come at here and then basically you can paste it at here all the data will become okay so sorry not like that you need to paste the data where is the you need to basically say this position and there should be a paste option come i'm not sure that why it's not coming so i think we need to do everything manually so yeah let's do this thing i think it should be work i'm not sure so you can also do like this minimize so let's say 400 then that one is uh, minus 80 and j is 250 okay the values is now set let's now ram remove our this cube because we don't need anymore now 
we can go even begin play and this will be spawn also they have a collision that if you want you can use his default collision or you can change up the collisions now let's compile and save now let's try to play and as you can see there's a cube spawn okay because it's spawn because we already give the data that to spawn okay also we found a return value the return value is basically the actor reference basically which actor we uh, spawn at here we can get his reference all the data by return value okay okay we already learned the spawn actor from class now let's learn other stuff like there's uh, some more option available that the actor rotation location and the stuff these three are pretty similar that basically which actor just thing you add at your world every actor have their location and rotation if you want you can change his location rotation and other stuff if it's already in your game okay like if it's already your game if you can change his location rotation and other stuff with that the set actor location that is a specific block that only it will be changed the location kind of like by default it will be kind of like this thing so if i connect it with my self reference so it will be set my location location uh, uh, set my all the location x y z to zero and there's also a option available that swipe and teleport okay so also we can verify something more that it's working or not and other stuff okay so as you can see that if you change at here any value so it will be also change up in our world after then running our program okay so but make sure it will be only affect in location it will be not affect any of rotation or scale okay if you want to only do the same thing for the only rotation you don't want to change the lo location you are only want the rotation so you can use this block called set actor rotation okay but make sure for searching this value you must need that actor uh, reference and from that you need to search like that set ac to your actor now sorry uh, set or you can search that rotation uh, rotate and as i said we can't do instead of here we must need to instead of that class so say, uh, set rotation and here as you can see the all the rotation value has been come actor rotation and other stuff as i said we also we must need to set here uh, instead of, we must need to uh, you know that class okay so as we learned that that is basically the set our uh, rotation there's also a like option available available for teleport physics and also that is the same if you speed that you find the x y and z value that is the same for the our location also you find the x y and z uh, values so for change with a float value okay so now let's learn if you want to do the both thing okay with uh, set actor location and rotation it will be changed but make sure just think that you are using you are only want to change the location but you don't don't want to change the rotation but if you executing this one so it will be also run or set your actor rotation to zero 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 so make sure that if you don't need this thing so they and really give you the separate option so use that separate option option okay nice we already learned this stuff so let's make them a sides now let's learn about this two thing first of uh, find look at rotation what this block this is very important uh this block is most of cases are uh, to find basically just thing that you want to verify that uh, what is basically this actor look uh you know the looking that how he looking are uh, how he look to us like how you can make a straight line that he look to us this is basically us and this is our ai so how we can make the program that he look uh, only at us like here only seeing us how we can make that system so for that you can use with uh, basically fine look at uh, rotation as we learned previous that uh, we can get you see to your actor locations by that we can basically get our uh, original actor location and with that if we, we can connect it with the start and the target is basically uh, which one basically the start is basically the self that if we are the ai and the target is uh, which object we are looking okay so we need to just set his uh, actor lo location so from that we will be find a rotation value so we can now change our actor to rotate at that uh, you know positions okay or that look so you can uh, combine them and connect it like this thing okay also you can you can split this thing if you want only x y or z anything okay now let's learn that what is get random reachable point this is for the navigation map if you want to make a ai that is uh, randomly uh, roaming kind of like you find a random places for go for that reason you can use the get random reachable points of radius the original is mean that basically you get actor original location kind of like if i show you let's make a ai 
uh, with a duplicate now let's double click and open and instead of that we can in even begin play what you can do that let me first of all remove this thing uh, get or uh, get random reachable points okay so now at original we can get actor uh, we can get a uh, location also it will also help us to find that thing very good uh, easily okay so that is the original and then we can set the radius that how much radius we want basically the how much float range we have to uh, basically pick the location okay point so we can set it to kind of like our uh, 20,000 float value and then we found the randomly location so now we can uh, set AI move to but if you want you can set like this thing like AI move to or you can use something else kind of like self reference so now we need the self to get his data and the target we don't need now compile and save now if I just drag and drop our AI at here so then you can see that it's picking a random location so as you can see he picked that random location let's try again uh, sometime he will become fail make sure if it's a uh, as you can see he is try to find this location okay so like that so basically our that's why you can make also a ai with get a random reachable point so guys that is enough for today i hope you understand thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in the next video so hey guys welcome back in going on and another part of our unreal engine blueprint code learn so in this part we'll learn the lots of blueprint code we'll learn so yeah let's start or also if you already check out our the playlist of unreal in blueprint so please check out also you can if you want you can support me in patreon link in description link below okay so first of all as you can see that is the timeline what is basically the timeline timeline is a kind of like a block that if you want kind of like let me show you that you want you want a basically a rotation that it will be look very smooth okay kind of like if i show you from the third person player character like you want this camera that it will be rotate or just do anything kind of for example it's rotated this smoothly in like that okay so for making this that smoothly turn so you can use the timeline basically okay so let's now understand how we can create basically the timeline what is inside so if we double press so so we found the timeline uh, the all the stuff so we found a float vector and other stuff so first of all let's create a float so now we can call anything our variable name so let's give it that speed okay so yeah that is basically the speed so as you can see if there's a now a line come now if i right mouse and as you can see we can add a cube so there's a time and the value so we can use like is a uh, zero so let's create one more so it will be look like a wave okay so basically you can create for it, this system also can uh, work for if you want to create a aiming or the recall system for your gun like when the gun shooting you can use this system that for you know making some noise in your gun is spawning so what will be do that it will be out uh, shaky or basically the guns okay kind of like a recoil okay basically you get a recoil effect from this and make sure the plus uh, the up one is plus and the down one is minus figure okay once you go at here the down one you go as you can see the minus figure value and once you add a timeline that it's go up it always find the plus value also you find that use last time frame key auto play that is play the whole stuff automatically after the end also you find the loop system that is also work uh, like the auto play then replicate it if you want that your know, this system work in network like multiplayer then ignore the direction and the stuff and also you find the length that how much your full uh, basically the timeline length so if you want you can basically change from like one two or yeah whatever you want okay so once you compile and save now if you go graph so as you can see you find a split float value okay whatever you create at here you can find also the vectors and other stuff as i say so you can get the value now you can do so for example as you can see they also give you some more option that one is for the play the play is for basically run this timeline the second one is play from a start whenever it's uh, if you use this one so it will be always start or play this stuff if it's just saying that you remove this thing kind of like some stop 
when you replay kind of like if you just do this thing so it will be replay from that position but if you use the play start from uh, the play from start it will be always play from a start for this stop you can use this stop also you can do the fullest uh, full stop uh, reverse by using the reverse and reverse and also available and you can set a new timeline okay also there's a value available for the timeline okay basically that is the speed or controlling also from that you find the direction what is the way it's direction you find a finish and update okay now let's learn about the set activity set hide game and deactive so what is this so basically this component mainly used in for mesh or cameras okay for deactivating and activating kind of like you are in your gameplay like this thing like once you're playing the game you want to change your camera this to this so for that case you can use the basically set activity okay and the activity so let's do this so for example i already created a player as you can see and they have the two camera now i want to switch this camera to this camera in runtime gameplay so i can use a keyboard so let's use the a keyboard that call l key board so once i play the l keyboard okay so first of all we need to get our camera reference so that is our camera and the, our follow camera okay so we want that from our uh, we want the our new camera basically the control or we want to see from our camera so from that we can search that set ac and you find the set activity so you can once you click on let's make a also a flip and flop what you learn already the flip and flop okay so first time it will be activated our new camera so for activating you can do the new active and also for deactive this thing you can search that uh, it, this is basically this one the deactive components it will be de deactive any of components so we'll be deactive our follow camera so d a c g i b deactive and now if i connect it with this thing so now after then what will we do it will very simply once we click on play now if i click on l keyboard so as you can see we are changing the camera okay so like that so by this system you can basically change up the camera okay we already learned these two stuff okay now let's learn about that what is basically the hiding game hiding game is basically the feature whatever you find in the viewport also there's an option available if some of cases you want to hide your character so you can basically hide in your actor okay so you can add the renders hide there's a mesh hide and there's also some more option available okay kind of like if i show you inside of a third person character so just think that you want to don't want to see the mesh but you are executing this thing so you can go scroll down and here you find some option called uh, visibility or the render so you can set it at here that hide in game so it will be basically hide the actor in the game okay so for at here in blueprint code you find the same thing that hide actor if it's true it will be hide if it's false it will be non hide this thing and make it visible okay kind of like said visibility okay now let's make it side now let's learn about these sounds so basically this is the sounds component so the most of uh, cases the game 80% depends on or more than 50% depends on the game sounds if there's a no sounds in game it will be not to work or you know it's like a bore so now let's add a sound so for make sure uh, for adding a sound you must need to remember that unreal engine only support that wave file so let's import a wave file so you can click on import so i already have some sounds maybe in my library which is already convert for the uh you know that for my game so i'm just uh, let's use kind of like let's use the uh the win this song this one so there's a basically a win effect okay now compile and save now i want to play this win sound with my blueprint code so how i do so for that you can use the begin play and you can set here that you find here some option that is basically the same similar work that is play sound 2d play sound and the set sound so basically what is this uh, let me make it some separate let's use this two thing that play sound 2d and play sound so between uh, between difference those uh, those that first one is play sound 2d it will be always play your sound in 2d it's mean that whatever you go where you are 
okay in your world you always hear the wind sound so at here you can set your basically the whatever wave file or sound effect you have okay in your library so you can now if i say like this thing so it will be play the music okay or the sound this is also work for just if you want to make the gunfire system or the you know the environment uh, rain, uh, rain sound system or something like that okay then there's a play option available that play uh, the play audio that is also the same but at here he need a target what kind of target he basically need a spawn target so it's mean that you can also spawn a sound at whatever you want if you don't want to spawn in 2d or using 2d you want his reference for more uh, advanced options so you can use this spawn sound at location so you need to set a location that where you want to basically put the sound so like that you want to you can select any of location you find the location x y and z value then you can return value you can promote a variable that is give you the whole reference data so from that you can basically uh, play this thing also there's an option available that is start timeline it mean that you can basically uh, start from anywhere of your sound direction whatever is sound kind of like just think that your sound is a 1.2 minutes if you want you can uh play from one uh, only from uh, 0 0.5 uh, seconds okay that's it's depend on yourself so if you want you can do like this also at advanced settings you find some more option called stop if you want you can basically stop also your sound by getting his reference okay also if you want you can destroy him by using destroy components okay also if you want you can change the new sounds kind of like if you want to set a new sound at uh, whatever is now spawned so you can change the reference okay so just set the target and at here you can pick a new file okay or, or a new song i hope you understand all of this code and thank you so much for watching guys love you all and bye bye and see you in the next video and yeah thank you so much for watching guys and if you have any question you can comment in my comment box so thank you so much for watching guys bye bye and see you in the next video so hey guys welcome back in Korean Bangla IT and another part of our unreal blueprint code learning okay so last of video we will learn lots of blueprint code yeah this lots of blueprint code we already learned so if you didn't check our playlist so first of all make sure that you check playlist okay so now in this video you're going to learn make area third person casting on hit actor event any damage begin overlap and overlap attach actor with component the attach actor from components ai move to then set collisions and i will random and a reference variable okay so yeah let's learn before i start uh, if you want to support me you can support us in uh, my patreon link option below okay so yeah if you want you can support there okay now let's first of all learn that what is basically the make area so basically the make area is kind of like a area here yeah, kind of like a area that in just think that you have uh one person you are a person you need uh, somebody give you a task to you that complete a uh, try to find two uh, human okay and pick any of human data okay and just give him now how you can pick that system okay like how you can make the similar system in unreal engine so if you want that two player reference at the same time from that two player only one player you want to get a data so you can use the make area okay so in make here there's a can a reference kind of like a actor reference can an avail uh available also you can use for multiple reasons so now let's click on add a pin with the add a pin we can make some more areas okay so from that we can basically call anything that what you want but as you can see there's a area so for from that we can get a copy to get uh from that so as you can see there's a give you the position data that zero and one so it will be always pick this zero okay with that let's also uh will be learn the random but for now let's learn first of all make area okay so it's mean that now f f what is the whatever the reference in our zero number area or one number area it will be always pick the data from the both to only one okay so if kind of like if you want to uh, if i give you an example you can use the same system for you know randomly 
places uh coin spawn kind of like if you're just creating a temple run so there's a road will be available from at the road you have multiple lanes and on the lanes you want to a random uh position for you need a random position for getting that random position you just add maybe a collision so there's a collision once and two so from the both collisions you want to get only one so that case you can use the make area and from okay so then we already learned the make area now let's learn that this random what is the basically the random okay so random is kind of like uh if i show you uh if i tell you like it will be until you automatically have a random system that it will be pick anything randomly okay like it can be anything it can be a variable it can be a string it can be a player reference or something like others okay so because uh, we already learned the make area we can use the make area to random why because the make area there's a have multiple uh, section from the multiple section we can pick any of section or any any of you know that any of reference but it will be give a random but also if you want we can get the index number that which a position data the random are get okay like if he get zero or or if he get the number one okay so you already learn uh, two blocks already now let's learn this the actor a reference example what is this basically as i said that you must need a, a reference for you know if you want to verify two things kind of like that uh like that so you have now you can compare with something else or you can you can ha just think that you have the two brothers and from that you only need a one randomly brother so it will be give you the random one random brother's name but how you can make this thing how you can get any actor reference at here so for that you need to create a variable that at here click on variable and uh, once you click on variable so you need to just click on variable types so now you need to search basically your class that which class of actor you want the reference kind of like for example i want my third person character so here's my third person character third person bp everything is will become so i need my third person character that object reference okay there's also object uh, class reference available soft object reference available soft class reference available but we'll we will use the object reference so yeah we get okay so now we can from that variable we can basically get our third person uh, player data okay so already we learned these three things so now let's learn that how you can use the collisions and then ai move to so the collisions is basically as we know that in every of block or every of in our world they have a collisions if we enable click on show then if we click on enable collision so we can see the complex collisions easily so as you can see that is the collision so now unreal unit unreal you need some information that how what kind of is structure it is kind of like it's a watcher like we can go inside of that or it's just a cube or kind of like a rock or something like a stone we can't go inside of that so for that you can use the the by default it's have a default collisions but if you want you can change it to non culmination block or overlap and block or dynamic so now let's learn that what is this not the non culmination it's mean that kind of like a water behavior so you can go inside of this cube if you select the non culmination if you use the block collision so whatever it is the collisions you can't go inside of that then there's a oval uh, overlap all so that is uh, basically used for the uh, kind of like if you are verifying some collisions you can go inside of that so also from that you can get some reference value okay and if you use the block or dynamic so it's this option is uh, 80 percent uh, most of time it will be used for the trees because in tree uh, we can go instead of a tree if we are using the up section kind of like if we are uh, go near of the leaf we can go inside of the leaf okay but if we try to go from the main points kind of like the tree okay and not uh, the bottom side so we can't go okay i think i can understand you whatever i want to mean okay so we can, at that uh, at that moment we can use the block or dynamic there's also option available that oval uh, overlap or dynamic that is uh, for also that is the box collisions and then ignore only pawns that is only ignore the pawn then we have the overlap only pawn that is only overlap the 
pawn it means that if there's any pawn so it will be get that pawn data or it will be not get any of data then only for pawn then there's also the character match physical actors individual walls okay it's also available the individual wall individual dynamic wall target ragdoll vehicle ui okay so at that position you can also do the same thing from collisions but in collisions and available available you find only the non contamination and there's also that whatever is the collisions by default uh, this just think what is the default collision it this have it will be automatically set this one if you select the collisions enable okay by core physical x the physics okay now let's learn that how can use the ai move to the ai move to i think i already learned but i'm not remember that let me check uh, if i already learned that ai move to mm, i'm not sure okay let's learn i'll learn that ai move to that ai move to basically use for the random uh, randomly places go okay kind of like just think that you want to make a ai that he go some randomly places uh, places or he just need to go somewhere so you can use the basically ai move to okay so the ai move to have the pawn the pawn is basically himself okay then direction is that at which direction you want to manipulate him or throw him or you want to get that he should be go there so then the target actor is basically mean that if you have if you don't want to use the direction you can use the target the target is basically the third person that uh like if you want to chase yourself like you want to ch make a ai that who will be chase you so at that position you can get your actor reference at here so it will be automatically work the radius is basically that how much dis uh, distance it will be maintained kind of like now as you know that that is a covid 19 situation so we must need to uh, minimum you know uh yeah we should be set distance that uh, three meters so we can make in an unreal engine also that three meter distance we can also maintain by changing this radius value by giving how much we want then we can also have this stop overlapping okay and if everything is working we have a success note if if anything is wrong so we can get the fail and also we can get the movement result that how it's now doing or something like that okay position data and other stuff okay now let's learn that what is basically the casting third person or kind of like this so this casting blows is so much use in blueprint code because by this casting you can basically casting the whole data of any of actor kind of like i'm casting right now the my third person black actor so from my third person character i can verify him i can basically destroy him i i can edit him i can use his any of variable and other stuff okay and if there's a casting fail so we have a fail note also okay so we can get a inputs okay now let's learn and for the object is basically uh, you need to always set a object you can set your basically your own actor or you can basically uh, if you are using any of kind of like verifying block or collisions at that ob object you can select at this your object so by that thing you can understand so we already under let me understand you by this codes there's a two codes also available that begin overlap and end overlap what is this thing that is basically verify the collisions just think that i create a target actor at here that is a target a uh, collision so i want to verify that if i am near of this collisions or not so how i verify very simple by this that uh, even overlap and an overlap how i find this right mouse and you find go to collisions and here you find the overlap and end overlap okay so at here as you can see but if you are using inside of the your third person character or just you create a separate class okay kind of like a create a md class there's nothing so you can add a collisions from at here okay so once you add collisions you can go to graph and right just right and scroll you find here that all the basically the collision that hit begin and walk sleep and other slots of okay for example i'm using the two that is the most used that is begin overlap and an overlap in begin overlap that there's other sector as i said that we need a object that is less connected with this thing than like this so it's been that if our third person character instead of this uh blueprint or uh, this target we ha we can do anything like we can throw him in next level or kind of like do some others also we can verify him that are we are not in, in you know instead of that uh col collisions it's uh, most of cases this is used for throwing him in next level or throwing him a 
or kind of like a gun pickup system that are you near of that collisions or not okay so at that moment we can basically use can we can use these two blocks okay now let's learn about that heat and target is the same okay that uh, the uh, heat actor is basically that we can get uh, from the heat if you click on break so like there's a break break heat result if you enable this thing we find lots of tons of option that if we are hit what is the basically location what is the impact location what is the normal location what is the impact normal location and there's lots of stuff we found okay so also we can verify with other actor that which actor if we hit okay then there's a even any damage this thing mean that and really automatically can verify that if how much uh, damage we get or what is the basically the damage type and other stuff we can basically verify with a event any damage block okay now let's learn about the attach actor and the attach actor what is this thing this is basically used for most of cases used for the weapon picking system because you want to once you create a separate class of your weapon once you want to uh, attach your that uh, gun with your body so you need to use the attach actor with component or attach actor with class uh, actor okay so there's a target that is the basically yourself then the parent is basically your mesh okay target is basically that which target like if you if you have the gun reference kind of like just think that this is a gun so that is the gun reference is basically that so it's mean that it will be pick that whatever gun reference it is it will be pay it attach and the parent is basically you need to give your mesh kind of like get a um, mesh uh but make sure you need must need a player or character mesh so get a mesh and once you get your mesh from that you can basically add your parent actor because a skeleton mesh or kind of like a character always have the skeleton body uh, i think that is skeletal no that is skeleton sorry so because every uh the they have every character have their skeleton body so every characters also have their separate bones name so you can attach with any of bones okay kind of like just think that you want to co uh, copy this thing and what it will be do that uh, once you want to uh, attach your guns wire you want to attach this position okay at this pin or you can create a, another basically a stock at that stock you can basically use okay so you need to just paste that stock name at here and then you need to set it to snap target and snap target and set snap target so what will we do it will be uh, you know attach at right position not any wrong position and just think that you do this thing and now you want to deattach your actor or you want to create the drop system so you need to use the deattach de actor i'm just giving a simple example you can use for multiple reason okay so the deattach actor is basically you want to set the target that which actor you want to deattach and then what is the location rules and then what is the ro uh, rotation rules and other stuff you can set okay so i just hope you understand this video thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next video in next video we'll learn something more about the variable that is the most important and so once we complete this our blueprint code series will be complete so i just hope you understand thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next video and if you have question you can comment in my comment box yeah see you next video so hey guys welcome back in going yt and another part of our unreal new blueprint code and this is our last part of learning blueprint code okay so last of playlist videos will learn these tons of uh blueprint code yeah there's a tons of because by this blueprint code you can make any type of tdp game fpp game and racing game or playing game any type of game you can you you must need to use this code because this is a basic and very useful okay what you already learned now let's learn the lastest part that is the variable that is the most important uh, stuff or the blueprint code in unreal engine for make game development okay so also i show you some you know because uh, this is a variable so there's uh, some changes come in and really four to five in the variable section so i'll also demonstrate you what is the basically a change and also because this is the last part so i want to tell you one more time that if you are a bengali so simply that আর তোমরা যারা বাঙালি আছো যদি ব্লুপিন কোডগুলো শিখতে চাচ্ছ বাট বাংলা ভাষায় সো তোমরা অবশ্যই আমার আনরিয়াল ইঞ্জিন বাংলাদেশ নামের চ্যানেলটা যেটা আছে সেটাতে ভিজিট করতে পারো সেটার ভিতরে সেম একটা প্লে লিস্ট আসে ব্লুপিন কোড নামে ঠিক আছে সো সেখান থেকে তুমি বাংলাতে সব কিছু যে জিনিসগুলো আমরা এতদিন ইংলিশে শিখতেছিলাম সেই জিনিসগুলো তোমরা বাংলাতে ইজিলি শিখতে পারবো সব কিছুই সেম 
ठीक है से साथ तो की ओके गैस सो आई ऑलरेडी टेल व्हाट आई नीड टू टेल सो या लेट्स स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज दिस वेरिएबल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी फाउंड द बुलियन देन इंटीजर देन वेक्टर टू डी फ्लोट वेक्टर स्ट्रिंग एंड एट हंड्रेड परसेंट व so first of all for creating a variable you can find a variable section of at left sides and if you are any of player uh, class so instead of that you find in basically also the left side that is a variable okay lots of uh, same variable uh, available for the player uh, class or the main class okay so first of all that is a boolean the boolean is kind of like if and let's create okay yeah, yeah let's create a boolean so by clicking this add pin we can basically create a boolean so or variable then you need we can change the variable type from here there's a tons of variable available but will be said boolean okay so we can change the boolean name from at here whatever you want so i'm just giving that b1 for boolean and then you find that there's a some also some option available that is instant editable if you tick on this thing what this mean that you can edit this thing from your settings okay so unfortunately we can't show i can't show you this thing uh, from at here because for executing this thing you must need to instead of any character or blueprints okay kind of like because we have this actor this is a basically a separate actor or oh, not this is unreal in four sorry uh let me show you why is the basically class this is a basically separate class so if i enable at here okay and if i now drag and drop at this thing at here at the details panel we can see let me go details panel as you can see there is a boolean are now come okay basically we can control if we set here basically the editable it means that we can control this thing from our runtime viewport also okay basically this is a basically feature because some of cases you must need this thing that's why then there's a not so much uh, more available but there's a option available that is replication the replication it's mean that if you are using this variable for a uh, multiplayer game kind of like you want to create a game that that is a multiplayer game and now you're using this boolean for verifying something in multiplayer section so you must need to set it to replicated to rep uh, network replicated or it will be not work in the multiplayer section so mu you must need to share this thing okay because we already learned what is this uh that so let's learn that how you can basically use basically what is this boolean is a kind of like uh a kind of like a node that it's have two inputs you can give that one is true or false okay if you you can get and set this thing so if you tick this thing it's mean that it's have a note right now that you are click on true so if you click on false it will become false okay untick and false okay now let's uh see example or uh, let's uh if i tell you example that how you can use or at why you can want to use this so just think that you want to verify that you are some of player near or are you near of the gun so how you can remember that are you a near of the gun you must need a variable so for that just think that you have the near of the gun so you can tick it to tick it means that yes we are near of the gun so you can from this thing from this thing you can get variable that are it true or false by searching if and else okay because we already learned that what is if and else so if it's true so it's mean that we are near of the gun if it's false it's mean that we are not near of the gun okay so basically you can use this system for picking system and other stuff okay now let's learn that what is basically the integer okay so basically the integer is uh, a number variable okay instead of the integer you can uh, store numbers okay but make sure that is only number and make sure it's also have the same that editable and network replication okay so integer what uh but by integer you can do something more also but for first of all learn that what you can save at integer you can save any type of a uh, number at integer kind of like and you can save data at five or you can save data two or you can save data more so data you can save at here but as you can see the highest there is a uh, number can only integer can remember that is as you can see this is this is the most of number integer can remember in one section not more than if you need some more you can use the integer 64 that is the double of this uh, variable but i don't think so that you need more than this variable okay now let's learn that what is basically the float okay the float is a basically uh, a 
1.0 or 4.5 kind of like a number variable okay at here you can also save the number variable but in a float range or kind of like kind of like a point range kind of like you want to save a variable that that is 0. Uh, 0 0.2 so you can save it here but in integer you can't save this thing you need to uh, save one two or five it's kind of like a full number you can't use a point number okay so for using any point number or verifying or if you want to store some you can use the float okay so yeah then you find the basically the vector vector is as i said in my last video vector have three uh, basically inside of float okay like he have a three float value if i if you click on split right mouse and split you find that it have x y and z the vector most of cases used for the location rotation and other stuff kind of like if there's a, any uh, actor or anything using the three stuff that is x y z so at that position or that case the vector variable we can use and also vector use the float variable now you have a question that bro why uh, vector why and really use the vector in float why they didn't use the integer because just think that guys uh, in our world there's some time we need a more accurate kind of like we don't we must we sometimes we can need 1.2 uh, meter or data so we can't do uh, integer value but we can do a float also for by float we can make a, a full number so that's why most of cases or the vector cases are really use the float value okay so that is basically the vector now let's learn that what is the vector 2d basically the vector 2d is similar like basically if i say you like uh basically the float kind of like float but it's have also only x and y it's not a vector it's a vector 2d vector 2d have only uh, x and y this is this variable most of cases used for the touch screen making kind of like if you want to create an android touch screen so at that uh, case you must need to use the vector 2d variable for uh, saving your 2d basically data because in 2d if only you can go x or y you can't go x y and z okay you, you only you have two options you can go to y you can go to x okay so that's why this is called vector 2d okay now let's learn that what is basically this string string is basically kind of like you can save any type of data that uh, contain numbers letters characters or something else like symbols you can add anything at a string okay there's a, anything can be editable you can add characters number or any of stuff okay you can use the symbols or anything in a string so most of cases this string used for getting data from or get a print string or like what is the basically log are now doing what is the basically variable or kind of like some others uh you know that moment or kind of like conditions also there's a one more boolean i forget to add that is not a boolean that is variable type is name that is the same similar but name only ca can add it the characters okay you can only add the words and you can't add any type of number oh yeah you can add number but this uh, name is basically used for the characters or kind of like as i said that name is a character but you can store also string but most of cases you must need to save the text okay so also there's a text variable also available okay because that is only text okay so yeah if you want you can change this thing only text okay there's only a separate option is also available if you want to save only the text and it will give you lots of feature and both all the variables have the editable and to our application okay so then we have basically the actor reference which i already learned you but let me learn you one more time if you didn't understand last of previous video basically this is mean that you can save any of actor data in this variable for by this variable you can use that one okay so guys we already learned about these variables so now let's learn that what is basically the multiply flow uh, add and divide it and minus so as you can see in unreal Engine 4 let for example let's use the integer and i want to add a variable or i want to now make just think that i have the value now one i want to make this value to two or three okay just think that i have now two uh, 20 ammo i have now 10 ammo but i i get some more ammo so now for making the add system so what you need to do i, I can use the plus and as you can see but in unreal engine 5 as you can see it's coming the add it's not showing the plus symbols but we are using the plus symbol that is the main pro uh, changes come in unreal engine 4 to 5 so let me show you if we go to uh, open level class 
set open level class if you want to add anything in unreal Engine 4 like if you want to add so as you can see the plus variable is coming integer plus integer vector plus integer but as you can see that in unreal Engine, that is option is not coming there's a only a option coming that that is add and that is coming in integer variable okay so also if you want you can add it to manually that add so but this thing as you can see it's not set why because why this color is not changing it's mean that you can also uh, connect it with this thing to float okay also if you want you can convert this thing to a vector also if you want you can convert it to float to vector and if you want also you can convert this thing to a vector to vector 2d to float okay that is a basically some amazing stuff but in unreal Engine 4 that is giving by separated like if you want if i want i can also add the plus button as you can see unreal you give me the integer or if i want to multi uh, add with vector or some others variable okay but as you can see in unreal Engine 5 it's automatically coming so that is the basically change coming in unreal Engine 5 to 4 in variable section so if you want to add something or make the variable some more uh, like i have the 10 value and i want to add now more 10 value so i can put at here that how much value i want to add so i want to add the 10 value then i can basically set the variable okay kind of like that so now once this term will be run so now it will be get the how much data we have from that it will be plus one more 10 data in our this integer okay or also if you want you can also add the only 10 variable okay it depends on yourself also about the same thing that for the minus okay you have all the the minus that is subtract and also you have the divided so by division you can add the divided integer but as you can see it give you the percentage okay F first of all if you uh, use the division you find that it give you a percent uh, percentage okay like uh, let me show you one more way that is as you can see as you find also a uh, this thing but in unreal engine if you do the same thing with division you find like this thing okay there are some changes as you can see so that is the basically some problem so i think in unreal engine 4 it's become fake so you don't need to do anything or you know in just uh in unreal engine 5 uh, the preview number 3 or maybe in future they will be fixed this stuff so also you find the minus variable and the stuff and then let's talk about what is the is a variable uh, evaluated or not that is basically um if you want to say uh, set a reference that are these variable is true or there's some data store or not because as you can see there's a now empty data there's a no third person data class selected so if this is a none it's mean that this is empty so if we search with the if and else so it's mean that we'll be get uh, output that false because we don't have any stuff so but if i said any of third person character so now it's have a some value so if it, this is evaluated so we have the data right now in true okay so i hope you understand this one and for the break vector that is only used for the vector option because as i said that you can split this thing or if you want you can without splitting this thing you can break this thing so you can search the b r e and you find the break vector so that is basically break your vector okay that is uh, to x y and z it will be break into three okay section also you can make this thing like a make vector okay yeah you can make this thing also a make vector and it will be convert basically your this thing to a okay like it will be convert your x y and z to a vector okay so yeah that is some you know cool stuff but yeah this is cool then at boolean you find here something that equals and getter equals that is getter and less equals and less than so it's basically used for the booleans only you can use this stuff only for the boolean if you want to verify that are these two booleans are true or not okay just think that you have the two booleans and now you want to verify that are the true booleans are both are true or not so you can do with this thing okay also there is some more available for the and and not boolean and or boolean okay like the or bool that is or boolean that are these and or one more are true or not or the both are equals or not okay so you can verify with this thing okay so there are some more variables also available so that guys that is all for today's video so i hope you understand about the unreal in blueprint code so thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next video yeah not next video because this is over so yeah bye bye take care